In this video, we will solve lead code problem number 46. It's called permutations. And the task is here to uh, print all the permutations of a given list. Not print, but return a vector which consists of all the permutations of the input list. For example, here the input is 1, 2, 3, and we know that 6 permutations can exist since 3 factorial is 6, 3 times 2 times 1 equal to 6. So uh, you have to write down all the possible combinations, all the possible places a given digit can take. So 1 can occur in the first place. So we will write 1 in the first place. Then we are left with 2 positions and we are left with 2 digits 2 and 3. So in one case 2 occurs first uh, followed by 3. In the next case 3 followed by 2. So uh, this is the two possibilities when one is at the first place. Similarly when two is at the first place we are left with two places and two digits one and three and they can occur one after other and here three occurs at the first place so in total there are six permutations possible. So how we can solve this problem? Uh, we have this one two three so what we will do let me write in the center So we can break it into three parts where one is in the front and we have to permute two and three only. So we have reduced this problem from size three to two. So what are, whatever are the possibilities with these two digits, we will add one to all of them. So one is fixed as the first place and next two places it's that. So whatever is the function here that calculates the permutation of one to three we will apply the same function on this smaller list and similarly 2 can be at the first place so we fix it and we call the same function on 1 and 3 the remaining digits next 3 will be at the first place and we will apply the same function recursively on 1 and 2 so we are breaking reducing the size by 1 next this will return something so one is there we will not carry forward that so we are asked to solve two three permutations of two three so we will fix two in the beginning and then call it on three so here we are now left with just one element so how many permutations for just one element are possible just this one that is there is only one possibility so one position one digit only one permutation is possible so we call this and the second possibility is we fix 3 and call it on 2 similarly here we will fix 1 and call this function on 3 so we are just expanding the recursion tree here and next 3 will be at the first place and we will call it for 1 and here 1 will be at the first place and we will call it for 2 and then fix 2 and call it for 1 and our base case is that if the size is 1 or 0 return that itself so here what will this return this 3 will return we can expand it further and this will return this value itself so when a value returns uh, what it will again return a list of different possibilities let's say p1 p2 p3 so on a smaller problem it returns a list so what is our task here we had fixed one at the first place so what we will take uh, what we will do we will take all these individual vectors and append one to it so this becomes one followed by p1 one followed by p2 and so on so this returns 3 we append 2 to it so this returns 2 3 and this side when it finishes it it will return 3 2 so whatever is the result just append it in the beginning the digit that we have fixed so now this returns 2 3 this returns 3 2 both are returned here 
so here what we had done while coming down the tree we had fixed one at the beginning and we tried to calculate the permutations of this and th we have now the solutions these are 2 3 and 3 2 so one is fixed so it will append one to both of them so take this append one to it in the beginning so it becomes 1 2 3 and take this one append one to it it becomes 1 3 2 and these two values will be returned here so we have now two values in the result now this branch will execute it will come here this three will return so one will be appended to it so it will become one three and here one will return so three will be appended in the beginning so it will become three one now these two values are returned here the place where it was they were called and here we had fixed 2 in the beginning and we had called it for 1 3 now 1 3 has returned with two values 1 3 and 3 1 so what we will do we will take all those values returned and just add 2 in the beginning so it will become 2 1 3 and this is 3 1 so in front of this we will add 2 2 3 1 so this branch also returns these two values or we can have we will have a result uh, which will be a vector of vectors where we will be pushing these values when they return so the result has now four values similarly it will return 1 2 and 2 1 and it will be appended after 3 so it will return 3 1 2 and 3 2 1 3 1 2 and 3 2 1 so this way all the branches will ultimately end here so we have considered it for all the digits as the first digit if it has k digits each of these digits will occur k minus one times here we had three digits so each digit will occur two times in the beginning so we have seen all the possibilities so this tree will remain similar let's say we have four digits now so what will happen let's create five so one branch we will fix one and call it on two three four five next branch will denote two in the beginning and the function will be called for one three four five next branch will be when three is in the beginning and the remaining digits are one two four and five and so on two more branches will be there one four will be in the beginning next five and the four remaining digits so what we are doing here is we have a function p and we are storing everything in result what we are doing uh, we are uh, calling it on p and this is the vector v so what we do we erase one digit so we can have a loop for i equal to 0 to 4 and what we will do we will erase 0 or v dot erase at position i so in first case what will happen it will erase at 0th position so what will be v now 2 3 4 5 so it will call again on v and this v will denote if i is equal to 0 then this v will denote 2 3 4 5 exactly same as this when i is 1 it will erase 2 so 1 3 4 5 will be remaining like this so this is v and this is i which we are erasing and we are calling it and we are capturing the value in some temp variable so this is a list of vectors so once this call returns this will denote the termination of this branch along with different results we will iterate all these results and what we will do this element is v i this is the element that we have erased so for all r belonging to this result we will append this e so we will have a vector equal to e followed by this r into just one vector so this is exactly what we saw in this example and finally when it, it's done for all the cases that is each digit has been put in the front 
as the first digit the result will hold all the possibilities like this so you can try it once on yourself and convince that this should work each digit will occur in the beginning and we can permute on the remaining digits so let's write the code for this and this is a good problem it has 3500 likes and 102 dislikes so let's first write the base case if n is less than or equal to 0 less than or equal to 1 then either it has 0 elements So this nums is a vector of int and the return type is vector of vector of ints. So we include it in curly braces. So it, it becomes it becomes vector of vector of ints. So at this moment this v is exactly same as this nums. Now we will denote delete one of the digits at ith position. So this will calculate the iterator that is pointing to ith digit and it will delete that. Now this vector has one digit less and uh, we will add that digit in the beginning and to the permutations of this new vector smaller vector now we have this uh, result which which is a vector of vector of ints and this denotes the permutation of this vector which is same as this vector just one digit less so now our task is just to take all these vectors one by one and append this ith digit to it in the beginning So we are uh, adding it, this nums i which we had deleted in the beginning of the results of this. And finally we will add them to the result. So it works for this test case. Let's try a few more. and it works well for all the test cases so let's go ahead and submit and our solution is accepted although we can see how we can improve this time complexity it's better than 20 percent 
and the run time is 16 millisecond let's try a few more times and it remains around that mark so I hope uh, you understood this problem uh, the core idea is that every digit in the list will occur equal number of times in the beginning so we try all the possibilities we just remove one digit from original list put it in the beginning fix it in the beginning so if we have k digits in the list we have k places to arrange them and uh, we fix first position where we position one digit at a time one after other and we are left with k minus one digit so we call this permute function again on that smaller list and whatever list comes uh, we append them after all the digits so that's the main idea